We are excited to be here. <laughs> good morning, good evening, hello, welcome. We are super excited too. Good eternity. <laughs> we are speaking in a robotic voice for no particular reason. How are you? Oh, we are everything. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes. We're all and everything and everywhere at, at all times. There is no time and we are experiencing everything simultaneously. Awesome. It is pretty awesome. It truly is. So do you want to start um, with me reading the questions or do you want to say something in general first? As much as you tried to trick us into having this beautiful introduction that then would already erase all questions and then everyone would have asked them in vain because they would be erased. No, we will do it the other way around. Okie dokie. Uh, Rose is asking, easiest ways to get into flow? Oh, that's an evergreen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like turning on the radio. And am I stay saying, and stay in the flow? It's, it's like turning on the radio And hearing that song that it, you know will get you there because it's been dead for a little bit of doubt left. So we're going to dive into that question. There is the experience of flow can be something very calming, very quiet. It's like the little stream that barely moves. It is still flowing, but it barely moves. And that is an experience of flow too. And then, of course, this flow can become stronger and stronger and stronger. It can become a really, really, really um, vibrant river that has a strong flow and is clearly, clearly uh, going downstream with speed, with energy, with um, to begin as a stream and turn into the river just because it is so much easier and more effortless than to try to jump from where you are into the river. But the principle remains the same. You are a flowing being at your natural state. That's your nature. It's not human nature to be stuck. It's not human nature to look backwards. It's not human nature to be disoriented or to be unbalanced or to be confused or doubtful. Those are all perceived and quite artificial human states that in, in the most natural version of you don't exist. So, Rather than thinking of it as trying to get into the state, it's more like rediscovering and remembering something that you already are at all times. So it's like there's this beautiful shining light and, and the shining light is shining at all times, but then you throw a lot of blankets on it and you throw some clothes on it and then um, you throw some jackets on it and you throw some other stuff on it and then you think the light's gone you think it, it doesn't shine anymore but really you've just covered it up with all the other stuff so the easiest way to get to the light that is shining at all times it's never really dark is to do something be something that is of absolute has absolutely no um negative connections for you that has no resistance for you that has no boundaries for you something that is very very easy and we have said this before for some people at some times it might be something as simple as eating their favorite scoop of ice cream and if you can do that and be with your ice cream and just taste the taste and enjoy the experience without drifting off for seven minutes It could be shorter than that, but seven minutes would be the ideal time. If you can do that for seven minutes, and if you can really truly be in the experience of it and just marvel at the taste, at the texture, at the temperature, and at everything that you experience in that time, then you would be in the ideal state of complete connectivity, of complete balance, of complete in the flow being. It cannot be any other way. So at, at, at That is just one example, and it's so easy because you all love ice cream. That's why we say it. But you could also do something very um, something very natural, like going into a state of quietness, of meditation. And if there you, again, can go for the same amount of time in being still 
not actively pursuing thoughts, in being present, not actively looking or feeling your way around, being just present within you and finding quietness within you. And you can do that by focusing on a point of light that you imagine in the center of your chest or the center of your stomach, whatever feels right at that moment, even in the center of your forehead, just focusing on a little bright point of light that is there and observing it and just focusing in on that. If you can do that for a few minutes, you will automatically be in a state of full presence. And then from that moment on, whether you stay in meditation for 30, 40 minutes or for just 10 minutes, and what you do when you come out and how you make your decisions over the next half hour, hour, will determine how the rest of your experience goes. Because if you stay in that present moment and pay attention to the intuition, pay attention to the guidance, you will set the tone for the remainder of your day. And so we encourage you to do that, to have an experience, you allow yourself to have an experience where you have full presence and experience of the present moment. Um, Gabriel is asking, I have isolated completely. How do I break my fear to be confident again and go out into the world? We would say that the answer that we have just given applies equally to your question. Because at the core of your being, you are not an isolationist. At the core of your being, you are not a loner. At the, core of, at the core of your being, you're not afraid or doubtful and you're not insecure. At the core of your being, you are spirit in full presence. So we would also encourage you to go into a state like meditation or something that requires you to be fully present in the moment and really pay attention and, and have focus on what you do. And what then happens is, is more of your present, of your presence, of your spirit expands and it becomes more feelable. It becomes more um, reachable to you. It feels more natural to you. And once you're in that state, you are in perfect guidance. So you then are guided towards the right people. You then are guided towards the right places. You then are guided towards the right conversations for you in that moment, um, according to your desire and your intentions. So, as you can see, the answers are, are always very simple because at the core of your being, you are pure light presence and all that it requires of you is to find the easiest way with the least amount of effort or maybe no effort and no resistance to uncover that state. The next question is, when you have no idea of a path forward, how to stop repeating the same old chapter? This is a twofold question because it, it basically means that there's only two paths. It's either the path forward or the path that you've been walking. As if it's a, as if life is a crossroads with only two, uh, an intersection with only two roads to go. And so, we would actually encourage you to look at the path forward, as you call it, as maybe a wonderful, beautiful stretch of beach where you have sand that really has no lines in it and where you have no boundaries and where it is not so boxed in. And in, in terms of how to not repeat something that you've done so many times before is to put yourself in a different state because the state determines the journey, not the other way around. It is when you allow yourself to fully move into the new state, whether that, that's the state that you desire, joy or relaxation, or whether it's abundance or whether it's health or whether it's love. And all of these things are, of course, connected, but you have focused on a particular state. So when you move into that state, when you begin feeling it and then expand that feeling and then begin looking at things that remind you of it and listening to things that remind you of it and doing things that remind you of it more often and reading things that add to that energy. In other terms, it's when you become this vibrational expert on your desire, on the new journey, on the new path, as you call it, then you are so blind with it you are so in sync with it you are so 
vibrating at the same rate of it that it it, it naturally appears in front of you. And it, it isn't that the whole roadmap appears. It isn't that it's going to be all mapped out. That would be boring and you wouldn't love that. It is that the next and the next and the next and the next step will appear right in front of you. You will know exactly, oh, I'm skipping this one. I'm taking the left here. I'm taking a right here. I'm, I'm chilling here for just a little bit. I'm sitting down. I'm laying down. I'm sleeping a little bit. I'm walking. I'm running. I'm sprinting. All of those things will then become so clear to you. And it is all a matter of moving into that state and doing and being and listening and reading and watching and 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 thinking. All the things that help you to move into it. And as soon as you feel resistance, as soon as it's too big, too fast, too much, just relax, just chill, take a smaller step, take no step. Drink a cup of tea or coffee or, or that scoop of ice cream. And just allow yourself to move to the rhythm of your purpose. Emma is asking, when will this be over, this crazy time we are living now? The oppression, the slavery, the manipulation. There is over and there is over and there is over and there is over. There are those who are in non-freedom, in captivity, those who are locked up somewhere, those who are in a small tiny cell somewhere, who are completely, absolutely, unconditionally free. And then there are those who have physical freedom in, in every direction, can do, be, or have anything that they desire to be, but they are completely, they're completely enslaved to their mind, to their thoughts, to their limitations, and they live in the smallest cell that you could possibly imagine. So there's freedom and 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 there's freedom and, there's freedom and it is up to you to put yourself in that state of freedom again, to remind yourself what it is, to remind yourself how it feels, and then begin creating from that because you cannot become free by looking at that which you believe is enslaving you, as you call it, or you believe is locking you up. So you are the beer of that freedom, the liver of that freedom, the experiencer of that freedom. And it begins with the state. One who is free is so much more powerful than millions who are enslaved to their thoughts and their minds. And one who is free in their spirit, in their mind, then emanates the energy of freedom. And so basically what you do is you create around you a vibrational field of freedom that then cannot be manipulated by others anymore. It cannot be broken by others. And this first and foremost has nothing to do with the physical freedom. It is a freedom of the spirit and a freedom of the mind. And it's always you moving into that most natural state, which is freedom, creates more freedom around you. It also creates more physical freedom around you. And all of a sudden, you will experience, you will have ideas, you will find solutions, you will be inspired, you will have wonderful, beautiful hunches and nudges. And when you follow them, your freedom will expand more. And when you put yourself in that state of freedom, often enough again, it will become your dominant vibration once again. You will then be who you truly are. And then the path of freedom must appear all around you and in front of you. And you will know which step to take and when to take and who to call and when to call and when to write and when to speak and when to be quiet, what to do and what not to do. All those things will become clear again. But it is you, capital U, who are the steerer, the creator of your experience. Rose is asking, are there certain frequencies that help with reaching flow? The, the, we, we can't answer this question that we have answered before on a more broader level you are trying to intellectualize it and we are trying to 
tell you through all means possible to feel your way into it because it wouldn't help you if we would tell you that yes there are there is a bandwidth of frequencies and then you would find an amplifier you would find some sort of technical apparatus that would emanate those frequencies and you would say oh i'm just going to get you know i'm just going to bathe in those frequencies i'm just going to have them blast me with those frequencies and then you will feel flow this is just not how this works because you at the core of your being are completely completely free and so to move into that means to uncover who you really are and we have given you beautiful and wonderful ways the most natural and expansive ways that we could possibly give you to do that and we encourage you we encourage you with the love of the whole universe to feel your way into it rather than try to think your way through it we believe and actually we know we just say belief because it makes humans feel more comfortable because if we say if we say we know humans sometimes feel that um there's no softness it's it's just this one way but we know that the questions asked and we know that the experiences lived and we know that the realizations made are most important stepping stones are most important stepping stones and and think of it when you cross a river and and you want to stay dry and you want to uh, just get to the other side safely you need stepping stones little beautiful platforms that you can jump on and that you can jump from now these stepping stones are not the destination they're just there for you to be able to not have this huge leap but to take smaller steps and actually enjoy the experience of it so everything that we give you in terms of guidance in terms of words ideas and inspiration we would love for you to see them as stepping stones not destinations and to open yourself up to the possibility that your experience might really be completely limitless and that you really at the core of your being might be limitless in your potential and to open yourself up to the idea that there are no boundaries to what you can experience there are no boundaries to how good it can get there are no boundaries to how expansive your experience can become there are no boundaries to how colorful colors can become and how beautiful the music can become and how blue the sky can get and how intense the sense can get we truly want to inspire you to think from that state more and to be curious about that more rather than looking at the things that have the potential because everything at its core is just potential if it's unfolding or not is always up to the liver of the experience but everything it is so much easier more wonderful and and it, it flows so much more naturally when you allow yourself to think those thoughts rather than think about those minute little things that potentially might eventually essentially limit you in your experience because you are at your core limitless spirit you are at your essence a limitless being and it is only only through the power of your mind the the misguided power of your mind that you create a prison that you create boundaries that you create walls that you create chains that you create anything that might hold you back from experiencing this potential in the full unlimitedness that is what we want you to feel to experience to remind yourself of that you are an unlimited being and that everything that you do to help you remember that and get there more and more and more and more often is beneficial and wonderful and encouraged so in closing we don't want you to get excited a few hours of the day a couple minutes and do exercises and be really high and then move back into another state we want you for this excitement and this joy and this unlimitedness regardless of your current circumstances to become first your second nature which means that it is becoming very familiar it's like you you know 
have learning a new sport and you're becoming really good at it. And then you're, you're thinking about it when you wake up and sometimes during work or during your practices during the day, you think about it. And then when you play that sport, it's fun. So it becomes kind of your second nature, but we really then would like for it to become your nature. It's when it's so natural to you that you don't have to remind yourself to do it anymore, that you don't even need practices to get you there, that it is your nature because it is your nature. Because that's really, truly at the core of your being what it is. Unlimited potential. Too much? No, never. Good. Thank you. Good. The universe loves you. Strong energies all around you. Big shifts right ahead of you. And it's all in your hands. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Thank you. Tribe. It's good to be back in the flesh. <laughs> if you want to um, do a private UC session, please write us an email. Um, we experience beautiful 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 sessions with you guys it's always always very touching and um very expanding the the beautiful thing about the one-on-one -on -one sessions is that it's the energy around you expands according to your intention purely your intention it's just it's made experience and that's what it is when it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation And we just marvel at the energy that's usually created in that or expanded in that. So if you like doing that, please just send us an email and we'll try to accommodate you as soon as possible. We know some, we usually when people write us, they like, can we do it yesterday? And um, <laughs> so we understand that so we try to make space as soon as possible. If you desire to join a... Um, the iMembership calls there Wednesdays, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard, um, it's a it's a monthly membership. We made it really easy and really affordable. It's it's sixty nine dollars a month. Uh, you know, there for every call, you get access to the whole library of calls. You get to ask questions. We have one session with UC per month usually. Uh, it's a very expansive, beautiful journey. And then, of course, we have just launched the pre recorded inspired courses. So the one and two course, inspired one, the empower yourself and two the discover your purpose are now available in a pre-recorded version you can book it just on a website just um look it up inspirechannel.net and you can do it uh, in your own time you know which for some of you is way easier yeah than the live course times so all right yeah. lovelies tribesters we love you thank you for being here the best is yet to come yes emma and um Be the leaders, be the light. Just shine your light. You know, and spread the love everywhere. Sprinkle that stuff. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> We love you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. We are sending kisses and hugs.